Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. A shipment's coming in. I don't even get to save the game, dude. Oh, oh, oh we're doing the wibbly wobbly camera again. It's a little bit slower this time. Being extra careful since it's night, I guess. And I do appreciate how my uh, wanted level disappears between uh, between the uh, sectors of the mission. Okay, you better not chase me, officer. Yeah, you're goddamn right. All right. So, does anyone actually know what the story is at this point? Like, obviously we're an undercover officer trying to, you know, take down, like, an organized crime thing, but, like, what is the organized crime? What are they doing? Are they even organized? I, everyone makes so much hype about organized crime, but, you know, most criminals are incredibly disorganized if you watch, you know, like, World's Wildest Police Chases or whatever. They're pretty disorganized when it comes to their uh, criminal activity. It's kind of spur-of-the-moment type shit. Anyway, we're still driving. Um, the controls in this game are still very twitchy. And this officer is still on my ass. Must be said, must be said. I don't even know where we're going. Don't tell me we actually needed to go to that stupid... As it turns out, we needed to go to that stupid little island thing. There's no way of knowing this if you didn't look on the fucking map before you start driving. Okay, we're gonna take the correct road this time. And there's gonna be a fucking roadblock, naturally. Great. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There goes any health that the car may have had. What are you supposed to do in that situation? Just come to a stop and hope that the officer chasing you runs into it? I don't fucking know, dude. Oh, another roadblock. Well, it looks like we're restarting this mission. Boy, I sure hope I don't need to drive back to my house after this mission, considering the car is basically destroyed at this point. Don't do it. I don't know what to say at this point. Okay, we gotta follow the arrows and not fucking die. Can we manage to follow the arrows without dying? Doesn't really feel like it. Okay, this way, this way. Thankfully, most of these assets are popping in pretty early. Render distances weren't exactly the uh, PS1 strong suit. Okay, we're here. Get out of there and back to the motel. Fantastic. That's the, the exact thing that I wanted you to say. That is the exact phrase. Thankfully, there's no time limit on this one, and there, I'm pretty sure there aren't any uh, repair stations anywhere, so we've just got a basically destroyed car, and that's a fucking dead end. we got to make the entire drive back. And don't worry, officers will immediately chase me when they see me. Oh my god, how do you get out of here? Alright, even better. More destroyed car. How do you get out of this fucking labyrinth? This place is a fucking maze! Oh my god, the exit, thank you. Alright, we're free. But thankfully, they spawned an officer directly in front of me, so I guess there's no time limit, so I mean, if we just casually follow at, you know, a normal driving pace, they'll never see me. And they won't spawn any other officers, because I'm pretty sure they only spawn one at a time. This is an impeccable strategy. The likes of which have never been seen. Man, remember when you were a little kid and you thought, you know, I want to play GTA, but I want to follow the rules of the road. I want to be a good citizen, I want to drive and follow, you know, the fucking lights and all that. We're doing it. That's what we're doing today in Driver. You are the wheel man. I am, in fact, the wheel man. I'm the modest Uber driver. I'm going to get myself five stars today. And this fucking green dude is just tailgating this officer. Look at that. Unbelievable, the tailgating in this town. 
No one falls at a safe distance. You gotta remember the three second rule. Whenever the car in front of you reaches and whenever a certain point in the road, like this light, for example, you count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. If, you're, if you get to that spot within three seconds, then you're following too closely. Okay, we got ourselves a, okay. Well, I mean, I tried. I tried. It was a good effort, it must be said. I put up a good effort for a long time there, but apparently, you know, following, following at a safe distance is illegal, according to this officer. Oh no, oh no, oh dear, dear, I'm dead. Of fucking course I am. Of fucking course I am! Roscoe fucking P. Coltrane needs to fucking palm his tits. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, he's dead. He ran into me so much that he fucking died. Okay. Try going this way, I guess. Okay, and then this way? No, we're still fucking in this stupid little fucking thing here. Well, so much for having a bunch of extra health on this attempt. I, I, it must be said. It must be said. We really... We really managed to have a much larger health bar on this occasion. It's... Yeah, it must be said. We've got all the health in the world to be able to make it. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? This fucking stupid goddamn warehouse could be fucking normal. Just, oh my god, we're driving there again! Oh my god! Would it kill this game to just not be stupid? No, it's like they, uh, they pro program this game on purpose to be the most asinine experience that you could ever imagine when it comes to everything. Every goddamn thing. These guys, these guys don't use fucking signals when they're changing lanes. They just go across entire fucking five lanes of traffic to take a right, like right there, as I'm describing the fucking actions of these inept motherfuckers breaking the rules of the road every fucking goddamn which way. And if that's not enough, if that's not enough, the fucking AI traffic is the biggest joke that you've ever witnessed in a fucking video game in the history of the fucking platform as a whole, uh, the fucking medium, the medium of video games. So if that's not enough, they spend every fucking waking moment of the, 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 this game's existence finding ways to place officers in the most incon goddamn venient possible location, just spawning them on top of you at the end of a fucking mission. Or like right here, for example, like, oh, instantaneous fucking police. Instantaneous fucking police. And then we go to this stupid fucking location with its absolute goddamn labyrinthine design. Just like, you need to be fucking Marco Polo in order to navigate this absolute fucking shithole fucking facility. And there's absolutely no hope. We're gonna get here with no damage again, but don't you fucking worry. We're not even gonna be able to leave the fucking warehouse location without getting fucking destroyed again. And the best thing that I can try to do is fucking tr attempt to retrace my steps through this absolute fucking joke of an environment. Because God forbid they gave me a little bit of assistance on the fucking minimap. Yeah, we have to go through this fucking building, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, pretty much. And they, they spawn an officer in the exact location of the only exit to this shitbag facility. Alright, I've managed to escape the warehouse. Can we make it back to the motel, which is apparently what that is. Even though it's not a single layer building. I still don't know. I've, I've been working in the hospitality industry. Well, we managed to get out of the fucking warehouse, but God fucking forbid the wheels stay on the fucking ground. Looks like we're starting over! And you get bumped into slightly 
at the wrong fucking angle and you're starting the cunt fuck mission over. Because God fucking forbid they just reset the car when it gets flipped for some asinine reason like that. God fucking forbid it. Oh my god, this is awful. Everything about this sucks. This game is horrendous. Fuck this goddamn game. This is horrible. Oh my god. I don't know if it's as bad as Driver 3, but it's getting close. Driver 3 is, and Driver 3 is pretty fucking bad. I've been thinking about playing that game for years. Just because of how awful it is. It's just like the world needs to experience this. This is still part of that other mission, by the way. We still completed an entire mission before this one, and we have yet to save after that. This is part two of the first mission. So it's technically still part of the same mission. I've been recording for 58 minutes and we've done one mission. Well, two, if you count the fact that I had to do the other one from uh, the previous set. I have to finish the second half of it, but beyond that, one mission has been accomplished so far. Yep, there's another one. How am I supposed to get through this? Alright, I guess that's one way of getting through it. Oh my god, they're still following. Fuck off! I just want to be done with this shitbag mission. I'm dead again. I'm dead again! Cool! Great! We get to start over from the beginning AGAIN! HOW WONDERFUL! I just appreciate how the game can just not be bothered to STOP SPAWNING OFFICERS EVERYWHERE so I could ACCOMPLISH THE SHITBAG MISSION at some point in my fucking life! Yeah, when we finally, when the game finally lets me fucking get to the motel, it's gonna fucking tell me, Oh, you can't have officers following you, even though I keep spawning officers on top of you constantly, and there's no way to get rid of them once, there's no way to avoid them once they have a felony, even a fucking, you know, a single pixel of felony on there, they'll follow you forever. But you can't have officers at the end of the mission, uh... Fuck off! How about, will I be allowed to complete the mission? Probably fucking not, considering every other time I haven't been allowed to complete the mission. Oh, how wonderful. I sure am glad that that's a thing that just happened. Come on, motherfucker, where's your shitbag roadblocks at? Come on, give them to me. And it's not like it's a certain threshold that has to be met before it starts spawning in Roblox. Because one fucking dude speeding a little bit has been fucking, you know, recourse enough to spawn a fucking Roblox, several of them. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy too, because the only way to get through a Roblox is to go through the Roblox. Which means you're gonna get more fucking notoriety and you're just gonna keep getting more fucking, you know, wanted level. And then, oh, would you look at that? We're fucking dead because there's a thousand officers that refuse to fuck off. And it's spawning them when it's in a straight line and there's literally no way to avoid them. Like this one, for example, is on the other road entirely, but don't worry, he's still gonna fucking see me immediately and be up my ass for the rest of my life. Guess we're about to find out whether or not I'm gonna be allowed to complete this fucking mission. Oh, never mind. They actually decided to fuck the officers in the off direction. But there's still plenty of time for them to spawn one last officer to try and fuck me over. Don't worry, there's still plenty of time for that. Still plenty of time for that matter. Oh my fucking god, what an awful mission that was. That was horrendous. Wow, what a fucking pile of shit that was. Terrible game. Fucking horrendous. And we get a cutscene for our troubles. How wonderful. <laughs> baby, baby. Listen to me. Why don't you come into the office? Come on, baby. 
Maybe I got a little something for you. I got something for you. Now back off. Whoa, Jesse, stay loose, kitten. You know what this is, don't you? Give me the piece, no, baby. No, I don't. Back off, Rufus. Don't you go making this worse. This ain't what I wanted. Baby, give me the piece. You got what's yours, baby. Nice. Just in a leopard print bathing suit. And by the way, I was standing in the fucking other room. But that's the end of the cutscene, so I guess she doesn't care that I was there. Alright. The informant. Oh my god. I didn't save the game. I didn't save the game! Because I thought we were going to be able to save the game. Why, what a fucking mistake I made. Looks like we're still playing. Here we go, I guess. What are we doing? Cat's Jesse. Okay. That's your name? Why are we getting chased by officers? Fuck off. I'm not the one that shot a motherfucker. Give me a break. Alright, well, at least a loading screen happened, which means that there's no way that, uh, that we're gonna have to, uh, do that last one again. Now I just need to finish this mission. Uh, th oh, thank you so much for that. Oh, yeah, thanks. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's fucking phenomenal news right there. So they're just gonna spawn officers in the most inconvenient place possible, AND I have to stay within a fucking block of this motherfucker. Okay, cool, fantastic. And they spawn this officer literally at this exact spot so that we're being chased at all times. Phenomenal. Thank you so much, game. Oh, she's on the train. Well, what the fuck do you mean I lost my tor- MOTHERFUCKER! Motherfucker, there's only one place they can be! In the train! It's the train! I didn't lose anything, bitch! It's the train! Like, even for the most part, you can fucking fight with these fucking follow missions. They're never actually lost. They're literally right in fucking front of you in plain goddamn view. Even with most follow missions. But a train?! There's only one place that she can be! On the train! What do you mean I lost the train? It's a fucking train! It's on tracks! There's only one place it can go! Thank you so much for stopping in that exact spot! Oh my god! Oh my god! This sucks! All right, they decided to not put the officer in front of me. Lo and fucking behold, we're still following the low render distance train. Cross traffic's always fun. Having a top speed of 10 miles an hour is also pretty fun. That sure does make this more difficult than it needs to be. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you lost the target. That's going on a fixed fucking track. Yeah, eat my goddamn dick. Okay. Oh my god, dude. This track is terrible. This is the least efficient train track I have ever fucking witnessed. Well, now I'm out ahead of the fucking train. Is that... Am I gonna lose the fucking target by going out too fucking far now? Well, somehow I managed to lose the police during this process. Hell yeah, dude. Good job. Yeah, you're goddamn right I did a good job. I got to the destination before the bitch. Okay, I'm saving the game. I'm not taking the risk this time. We're saving the fucking game. Before it fucking dumps another goddamn stupid-ass pile of shit on top of me here. Okay, this one's gonna be fucking J. Because I am just getting started with the fucking uh, negative feedback on this uh, terrible game. Get a good thumb. Listen, lady. I gotta tell you, you got a real bad attitude. That ain't helping any. I wanna see my lawyer. You don't get it, do you? We don't want you. We just wanna know about the French guy. 
Or maybe you want to tell us why you blew away your boss. He wasn't my boss. Whatever. Listen, if I don't do what I'm told, I don't live too long. If I tell you what you want to know, I don't live too long either. Life sucks, huh? Ain't you just a wise guy? You gonna cut a deal? Good or are you going to take communal showers for 20 this years? This voice acting. The French guy was pulling the strings. Who's pulling his? I don't know. I don't know. Uh-huh. Well, we can come back to that. Well, Suppose we can come back to that. you don't know where he yet. is either, huh? I said, I suppose you don't know I where heard. he... I heard. I heard. The guy's in Frisco. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's some big news right there. I heard you were in town. Got some work and no room for second raiders. A casino. You wanna come along? My fee. Ten percent. Twenty. Man, guys gotta make a living. Fifteen. Twenty. You know my price. Okay, but we do it my way. It's my way! It's my way! All right, bitch. New town! That's right. There's more than one town in this game. Welcome to the casino job! Hey! It is a new car! Hello. Hello, beautiful. Oh, it's faster, too. Oh, my goodness. Look at this environment. Yeah, now we're really playing Test Drive Live. Yes, welcome to San Francisco. Oh, uh, San Francisco. Not the actual driver game that's based on that city, though. This is Driver 1. And we're in Chinatown. And we've got officers, don't you worry about that. This is the 90s, back when the police actually did stuff in fucking San Francisco. But there, there appears to be a lot more environmental-based tracks for these uh, officers to be caught on, so that's pretty good news. Yeah, we're driving like a... I don't know. Oh, well, there's a tram. Hell yeah, dude, we got a tram. All right, hello. I'm here. Is it still too early? Is it... Hello? 9-11. Oh. It's another robbery. Starting things off with another robbery. Hell yeah, dude. That's how it's done right there. Yeah, what is this? Like, uh... It's like the, uh... Oh my. It's like the Buccaneer in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It's a... It's not a Ford Torino. Maybe it's uh, kind of got the rear end of a Torino, but like not the- OH! THAT'S A TRAM! Sorry. I think the officer might have also hit the tram. Okay, we need to take a look at this fucking map. Alright, where are we going? Okay, we're just... Yeah, we're just... It's a, it's a pretty simple... Pretty simple city layout. That's good. That's pretty good. Any Lombard Street here? in this game. Oh, of course they spawned an officer in the perfect location be able to see me while taking this right. Yeah, that's great. That's wonderful. Okay. One turn. We're one block away from the end of the mission. Will I be allowed to complete the mission without them spawning an officer at the last fucking moment possible? Doesn't look like it because I have no idea how to find... Oh, you son of a fucking bitch! I can't find the entryway to this fucking area. There probably isn't even an entryway to this fucking area because it was letting me fucking stop on the outside, but it said, slow down, instead of just fucking, you've accomplished the mission, huh? Oh my god, fuck off. For the love of god, fuck off. Yeah, I don't think there's an entryway to this stupid ass building. Oh my god, are you kidding me? STOP! Drivers, stop spawning officers at the end of the mission challenge! IMPOSSIBLE! OH MY GOD! 
Oh my god. Fuck off! Okay! You're dead too! Am I going to be allowed to complete the mission? No! I'm not! Cause they spawned another officer on top of the end of the mission! Why? What reason do you have? My car is almost destroyed. The officer meter is at max. We have been on this part of the mission for three and a half minutes. And they spawned another officer! Another one! Are you kidding me? This game sucks. This game sucks. This game is fucking horrendous. This game sucks. This game sucks. It's officially worse than Driver 3. This game is fucking horrendous. It is the worst thing in the world. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. I should have been done two minutes ago. But because the game decided I wasn't going slow enough, it decided I didn't get to complete the mission now. Keep spawning officers on top of the end. Fuck this game, fuck this game, I literally am one hit from death. Fuck this game, fuck this game, let me fucking end this mission. I am aware that we have a tail. It's almost as if that's this entire game. Looks like we're starting over. Fuck you. One block away from the end of the mission. I wonder what's going to happen this time. Oh, look, they spawned an officer. But, miraculously, it was... Okay, I've stopped the car. Okay, Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck this game. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, get fucked on a fucking... On an entirely different plane, get fucked. No, no, fuck you. Absolutely not. Absolutely goddamn fucking not. That was the... A there is no other fucking... There is no words. There is no words. None. I have no words for this. Terrible game. Terrible, terrible, terrible game. I'm done. I'm done. We're gonna play this some other goddamn time. Because, no. Fuck this garbage. Horrendous video game. Okay. Cutscene? Not, not like I care. Listen, I don't know how, Link, but they ain't know. Maybe they looking for me. As soon as I take care of business, I'm gonna haul my beautiful ass out of here. You know what I say? Hey, be cool, man, okay? Listen, just buzz me if you get a line on this thing. Okay, man? You know Rudy? Man, I, I don't know no Rudy. Oh, that Rudy. Sure, I know Rudy. He's my main man. Lay a little more of that green stuff on me, man, and I will sing you any song that you like. You know the Gold Rush Hotel mojo? Damn, man! Hey, the treads! Watch the treads, man! You know it. Yeah, yeah, I know. French guy in the city. On the run. Miami. Tell me who he talks to, where he goes. For Rudy. We gonna get out fine, man. Man, I wish I cared about any of this. Unfortunately, this game sucks too much for me to be invested in any storyline related shit. So, yeah, basically. Oh my fucking god, this game is shit. So, here's the house, the newest house. I don't know what to tell you, man. This game is awful. I'm gonna... S uh, I'm not gonna save again, because that would require putting in fuck you again, and I do not have the patience for that. Alright! Anyway, that was horrible! Oh my god, this game sucks! Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you in the next part, and hopefully this game starts to suck less... at some point. But I'm not exactly hopeful on that home front. So... Good on this game for ruining my voice for this entire day. Probably tomorrow too.
because Jesus Christ. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. See you in whatever I do next. Bye! And I overdrove the corner flow. Going 40 miles an hour into this corner and I'm still overdriving the track. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's spinning! What a fucking Chad! What a fucking Chad! Did you see that? This absolute fucking beast! Oh my god, I can't even be mad! That was such a good save! Holy shit! That was so good. And I can't fucking drive forward because this car sucks and this track sucks and this game sucks. <laughs>